What is ionized gas? Have you ever wondered what happens when a gas gets supercharged? Let's dive into the fascinating world of ionized gas. Ionized gas is created when atoms or molecules gain or lose electrons, forming charged particles known as ions. This process is called ionization. It occurs when energy from heat, electric fields, or radiation knocks electrons away from neutral gas particles. When a gas becomes ionized, it transforms into a mixture of free electrons, positive ions, and neutral atoms or molecules. This change significantly alters the gas's physical and chemical properties. A gas becomes ionized when external energy surpasses the ionization energy of its particles. For instance, heating a gas to very high temperatures or applying a strong electric field can strip electrons from atoms. This process creates plasma, which is a state of matter where ionized gas particles coexist with free electrons. And like neutral gases, ionized gases can conduct electricity and respond strongly to electromagnetic fields. This unique behavior sets them apart from regular gases. Now, let's connect this to Avogadro's law and the ideal gas law. Avogadro's law states that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain equal numbers of molecules. However, when it comes to ionized gases or plasmas, things get a bit more complicated. Ionization generates additional charged particles, which increases the total number of particles in a given volume. This affects the relationships between gas pressure and volume described by the ideal gas law, which is represented as pressure times volume equals the number of moles times the ideal gas constant times temperature. The ideal gas law assumes neutral, non-interacting particles, making it less applicable to ionized gases. At high levels of ionization, electrostatic interactions between charged particles can cause deviations from ideal behavior. This makes predicting plasma behavior using standard gas laws more challenging, though simplified models can sometimes approximate their behavior under controlled conditions. Ionized gases are not just theoretical concepts. They have practical applications in various fields. For example, Plasma reactors use ionized gases to drive chemical reactions at lower temperatures, which is essential for producing materials like semiconductors. Additionally, mass spectrometry relies on ionized gas samples to separate and identify different molecular compositions. In energy research, fusion experiments utilize plasmas to replicate conditions found in stars, testing the limits of gas behavior under extreme ionization. In chemistry education, ionized gases serve as a bridge between classical gas laws and modern applications. While Avogadro's law provides a foundational understanding of gas volumes, studying plasmas highlights scenarios where traditional models need adjustments. This prepares students to analyze real-world systems, such as industrial plasma processes or astrophysical phenomena, where ionization plays a dominant role in gas dynamics. Ionized gases representing a fascinating transition between neutral gases and fully ionized plasmas, showcasing how energy input can drastically change material properties. Their study highlights the importance of context when applying gas laws, emphasizing adaptability in both theoretical and applied chemistry.